Hi and welcome. Let's have a look on the performance aspects of the Blofeld. As I said before, you have a very nice Fatara keybed. You can transpose um, the keyboard with the down and the up button. You have an additional section here. You can play chords. You can play monophonic sounds. You can latch the keys which you press, which means that um, they will be hold as long as the latch mode is active. And you can enable and disable the ARP or sequencer. The ARP and the sequencer can be accessed on the performance page. You have the perform button, you press it and then you can see your arpeggiator or sequencer. In the arpeggiator mode you have all the normal um, arpeggiator modes. You can also define how much octaves it should go up and down. The play order of um, the arpeggiator and the velocity configuration. Should the velocity be um, exactly the same for each note or just as you played or the velocity of the first note and so on. You can also use different patterns for your arpeggiator. You can define on which step the ARP should be reset. You can configure the gate time, the swing, the step length and the BPM number. In the sequencer mode you have access to 32 steps maximum. You can define the pitch of the sequencer, which means um, the relatively pitch to the first note, the sequencer length in steps, the gate time for each step, the swing again, time or step length again, and BPM. So you can record it, for instance, by pressing all the keys in the order, but you can also select one key and change it with your finger. You can turn on and off steps, you can make a step to a gliding step, to um, combine it with the neighboring steps and so on. Again you have different parameters for the direction. Um, you can define the, the reset mode, the scale and the transposition. If you want to turn off the arpeggiator or the sequencer, you can press on the running button. Additionally to the ARP and the normal note sequencer, you have also um, modulation sequencers. With the modulation sequencer or parameter sequencer, you have access to eight different tracks. And then you can use these um, parameter sequences as modulation sources for the filter, for the oscillators and so on. Another performance aspect of the display is the XY pad. You can uh, use the X um, dimension and the Y dimension of the pad as modulation sources in your modulation matrix and then play it with your fingers in a performance. You can turn off the reset so it jumps always back when you play it. Or you turn it off so that it will remain on the last position. One thing you should know about the Quantum is that it is always in a dual multi-mode. So you have the layer button, you can um, press it, and then you have access to the layer section. And each um, patch consists of two layers. Of course you will still have just eight voices and you are going to split eight voices on two layers. But you can use completely two different um, settings in each layer. 
With the layer button in the corner, you can switch between both layers. You can control the volume of the layer, the panorama, the input volume, the routing of the input, the sand routing, and if you and you can decide if you want to send um, the sound to the main or to the auxiliary output. If your sound is not loud enough, you can also increase the gain of your layer. And the amp velocity amount is the same parameter as you can um, control it here with the, with the knob on the panel. On the voices page, you can define if you want to use just one layer or split it on the keyboard into two layers or if you want to um, use each layer um, for the whole keyboard. If you are in the split mode, you can define how much voices will be used in each layer. When you use two voices in the first layer, you're going to have six voices in the second layer. If you have three voices in the second layer, you have five voices in the first layer. You can define your minimum and maximum key. You can define um, on which layer the controllers should be applied. And you can also create a real unisono sound with up to eight voices. In this case, of course, the number of your synthesis voices will be decreased. So when you have, when you have a unisono sound with um, eight voices, it's a monophonic sound. And the final aspect of your sound is, of course, the main volume. You have a master volume knob here on the panel and you have a master compressor additionally. Okay, these are the performance aspects of the Quantum. I hope you enjoyed this video, make a like or a dislike, leave a comment and in the next parts we finally want to cover the sound aspects of the Blofeld. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.